Hello everyone, welcome back to SFDC Panther. My name is Amit Singh and in this video we are going to talk about what are screen flows in Salesforce. So as its name indicates, screen flows are used to have some sort of screen for the users where users can perform some sort of actions based on the inputs that are there or they can also be presented with some information uh, that is some uh, useful information from them. Uh, for example, uh, there is a screen flow which is sitting on the home page where you are displaying some welcome message to the user whenever they are logging to Salesforce screen. Uh, they are logging to Salesforce environment. Uh, the other examples can be there. You have some screen flows sitting on the home page to create the cases or to create the accounts or leads. And that can be easily created by providing some minimal information related to leads, opportunities, or cases. Uh, when we talk about screen flows, screen flows may or may not require user intervention. So, uh, where the user uh, where the user intervention will be required? For example, uh, the user wanted to perform some action based on the input. Uh, let's say that user wanted to search some products uh, based on whatever the input they are putting. So, you can just uh, have the user to enter the keywords related to products and then based on uh, the next button or based on the search button they can just uh, get the list of all the products and they can find their inventories as well and uh, the user intervention is not required where the example we have discussed like putting some messages or some welcome message on the home screen of your salesforce environment whenever you are working with screen flows you will also be able to use either Aura components or LWC component inside your screen flows. This is again uh, taking the flows to a different label where you are extending the functionalities of flows with the help of some other customized applications that are available there. You can also call the classes, the invocable actions from the screen flows as well as from the auto launch flows and record triggered flows that we will be talking into the coming videos. So this is just a basic overview about the screen flows. Now let's quickly talk about or let's quickly create one screen flow where we will be putting some static messages. So to create a flow, just log into your Salesforce environment from the setup search for flows and under process automation category select flows. You will be presented with this screen where you might have some flows which are already there in your environment or you might don't have any flows over here. Just click on this new flow. And then you will be presented with this screen in a separate window. You can see there are various type of flows that we have. We will be selecting this screen flows because we are working with the screen flows. And then here you can select what kind of layout you want it to have. If you select free from, that means you can just drag and drop the elements anywhere you want as per your choice. If you are selecting auto layout which is still in beta version it is going to automatically put the elements uh, elements to their places you don't need to worry about the placement so i will select auto layout you can select anyone we talked about screen elements right so what you have to do is just click on this plus icon and select screen we will talk about all other elements later on for now select screen and here whatever the screen properties you have to give the label which will be here on the top so let's say that um, we are saying that welcome user you can have some description if you wanted to display these header buttons or footer buttons suppose that you don't want to display these buttons you can just hide this if you want you can just leave as it is or if you don't want to show the header you can do the same thing based on what you have and then here what you want to have is you wanted to have the information you wanted to display some information so on the left hand side you can see there are two tabs one is components one is fields so we will talk about these components and we will talk about all the components that are available later on currently we are only bothering about display display text this is the type of your display text where you can display static or dynamic text based on the variables or the resources that are there available inside your flow so we will say that let's say welcome message here what you can say is you can say that hello user welcome and have a great day Ed. this is just a simple message that we wanted to have and then you click on done you can see here it is automatically aligning whatever we wanted to have go ahead save it and you can say here whatever you wanted to have welcome flow 
Uh, this is a screen flow. So I'll put an identifier saying that a screen colon welcome flow. If you click on this so advanced, you will see how to run the flow. That means what sort of permissions you wanted to have. So it says that user or system context, system context or system without sharing context. Okay. These are mainly used whenever you are dealing with the data. So we will talk about more on this part as well. Type is a screen flow. You have multiple flows. Then what is your API version? This is going to be the current API version, which is 52. And what is the interview level? Okay. Go ahead and click on save. So you have just created a flow. And as a best practice, we always debug the flow. So to debug this, just click on this debug. It will open a new window in the separate tab. And then here you will see your flow, whatever the content you have put over there. So you have to click on this run button. And whatever content you have given here, it says the name of your flow and it says the buttons, right? But as a real experience, if you wanted to put this as your end users, you will uh, you don't want it to have this screen and this buttons as well so now as we haven't activated this we can just double click on this element and we can remove whatever we don't need like putting this hello user is like something generic right so what you can have is you can say okay i want to put the name of the user so to put that we have some global resources which you can access using dollar okay so you can see here these are all the global variables which a flow can access. You have got flows, you have got the custom labels, you have got organization information, the current user profiles who will be running the flow, then setup, then you have system, and then the current user. So, what we want? We want the current user information. So, select that, and then we want full name. So, how we will do is we don't have full name, so we will select first name, then we put an space. And then again, we will select for user and then last name. So this is what we have got now. And then if you just go ahead and click on done, again, save it. And after that, we have to debug this, the new uh, changes that we have. Now this time we will see the name of the user who should be a missing. And we will also be seeing that those two, uh, the top and the bottom things has been uh, removed from our end result. You can see here, now it is saying like this. Now, as you are, you have debugged, your flow is ready to use. Go ahead and activate this. Now, if you want to use this flow in your home page, so whenever a user is logged in, they can just see that message. So go to the home page, click on this gear icon and edit the page. So after editing the page, you will see the page like this, or it, it might be different based on you, what you have in your organization. From the left hand side, under component, the search for flow and then you just need to drag and drop the flow on the top top right where uh, we wanted to have our flow we have our flow over here now we need to search our flow which was screen welcome flow we will select that you will not be able to see the outcome here uh, the reason is that because uh, the flows cannot run in the canvas mode that is what it says and if you get back here under the home page you will see the message so you can see here you have got hello uh, hello i'm missing and this is the message that you have you can also kind of replace this message with the help of a custom label if you have a custom label and then you want to have that so to do that you can just go there in the flow builder suppose that i have here uh, for this message i wanted to use some messages right so what you will do is you will go ahead i have some label i'm i'm going to use that but uh, if you want to use you have to create some sort of uh, my labels over there okay so we have got this labels right there is a label called message i have created let's click on done now after you have activated your flow you need to click on save as then click on uh, select a new version and click on save go ahead and refresh this page so after refreshing the page you are still seeing the same value why because you haven't activated the flow so you have to activate it and then again refresh this so we forgot to activate in the previous activity that is why we were able to see the same result so now you can see here what we are saying that we are processing your payment with the bank it might take uh, four to five business days uh, you will get a success or failure message either from your bank from us uh, click on below link to go back okay so basically this is what i have in the message 
flow in, in the message custom label that is why i'm able to see this so this is my custom label which i have used i can just go ahead and edit this and then i will just put a simple thing which is basically the code for a day refresh this uh, not refresh save this and then now we will just see the result the updated result so now you can see here it says that if a nature offers no home then we must make a home one way or another so basically this is uh, something that we have got okay the question is how so uh, this is for our uh, screen flow or the very basic about screen flows how to create and what we have or what the screen flow is uh, in the coming video we will talk about the various elements related to screen flows like what are the input elements and uh, uh, then we will also talk about some sort of data elements uh, later on in the coming videos so uh, thank you for your time and if you have not subscribed the video of the youtube channel please do like share subscribe and uh, we will meet into the next videos thank you